Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. We've got a cool video in store for you today. We did a video on some really cool options for some orange fish a few weeks ago, which I will link in the description below. In this video, we wanted to switch it up a little bit and give you some options for white fish. This is not an exhaustive list, otherwise we'd be here all day, but we picked some fish that we thought were cool, some community fish, some cichlids, I've even got a few special ones for you at the end that are rather large. Hope you enjoy the video. Appreciate you being here. So why white fish? Well, first of all, if you've got dark substrate and a dark background, you're going to see them really great. They're going to really reflect the light that's coming into the tank and really kind of pop. And that's one of the things as we go through this series, we're going to talk about all these different colors of fish to really make that tank look awesome. But again, if you've got a lot of color, sometimes it's the white fish that stand out the most. And you can see those from across the room and they look fantastic in so many different setups. All right, so the for the first pick, I think definitely should be angel fish. Angel fish come in white and boy, are they striking. We had a pearl scale angel fish in the fish room for a while and it was an awesome fish. But this is a fish, sometimes you can actually get koi angels that are mostly white as well. But yeah, angel fish can be a very awesome addition to a tank if you're looking for something a little bit brighter. One of the other fish that I really enjoyed that was in our fish room for a while were some guppies that we had that were white. Now, there's a lot of different types of guppies and we had some albino guppies that were white. There are other types of guppies that have mostly white. By the way, if you're looking for a live bear that's white, mollies can also be found in a white color, especially some of the sail fins. They and the lyre tails, those are really cool as well. Now, this is probably one of my favorite white fish. This is the rice fish. We have the Madaka rice fish in our studio. Love them. They're very eye-catching at all times of the day, especially at night. And we've actually done a species profile on the Java rice fish, which are also very bright white. Really cool fish. By the way, if you are interested in seeing more information on some of these fish, check out the description below. We'll have some species profiles down there for you. So. A great choice for a fish that comes in about any color you could possibly imagine would be the betta. And as a fun fact, you can look, you can research this on, on the side, but not only do we have Clear Bob, who is kind of white, but also kind of translucent as well. He's amazing. He's my coworker. But anyways, when you're looking at multicolored bettas, like the koi bettas, the really beautiful marbly ones, white is usually a really good color on the body because if I understand correctly from Kasha at Creative Pet Keeping. White is a top layer, and that will usually kind of tend to stay on the fish instead of becoming completely dark blue or completely black. Just a, a side note. Another great choice is the albino quarry cat. Who doesn't love quarry cats? And albinos really show up great. This tank originally had a whole lot of tannins. It's starting to clear up, but these are super fun fish to watch. And then you've got the white skirt tetra. This is a great schooling fish. Gets to be about an inch and a half to two inches. Very peaceful. We have a group of them in our 125. Really enjoy this fish. Something to consider if you're looking for that schooling fish in a community tank. Now for your cleanup crew, you might as well check into plecos. They come in a lot of different colors, one of which is albino. Really fun fish to watch. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little cooler water, maybe a little bit larger, don't forget about your goldfish. We had goldfish in the past and some of them were white. This can be a really cool addition if you've got a little bit of a larger tank, you don't want to include a heater, but yeah, we can get the goldfish in a lighter color and it really has a nice contrast to some of the other color goldfish you might be interested in. Now, another great choice if you're looking for a white fish, the Midas cichlid frequently will be white. Our one of my favorite fish is Ruby. She is not all white. She's pretty, pretty much all orange, mm -hmm. but they look really beautiful all white. Yeah, when we went and did a fish room tour of Tim's fish room, he had some Midas cichlids in there and some of them were almost 100% white. They were really cool, big, they're aggressive. You, they're pretty much a, a standalone fish, maybe a species tank if you've got a really, really large tank, but these can be an awesome looking fish. Something else to consider if you are into African cichlids, there are lots of white African cichlids. 
There are, we had some albino metroclima in one of our tanks one time, and that was a really pretty fish. There are a number of cichlids that will also be albino, like the albino red empress, which are really cool. So a lot of albino types of cichlids that you can choose from. Besides the albino African cichlids, if you want something that's not an albino, but has still got a lot of cool white color, behind me here, we've got the white knight alis. This is a fantastic fish that shows a lot of color and can fit in really great if you've got that hap or peacock large community African cichlid tank. Another really cool white fish if you're into cichlids, this one gets a little bit more yellow and that is these fish that we just did an update on this tank, the albino heckali. They are amazing fish, a lot of color, and as they get older, they show a little bit of blue iridescence even though they are primarily white. Highly recommend if you're looking for a centerpiece cichlid and you've got a larger tank, this might be a really good option. Now I promised you a couple surprises. If you've got extraordinarily large monster tanks, there are white fish available for you too. There are the albino paku, the albino red tail cats, there are albino ghost knives. There are some very, very large fish that you could consider, but again, you'd have to have a massive tank for those fish. Again, this is not an all exhaustive list. There are lots of fish out there that we probably didn't mention. Would love to hear from you in the comments section below. What are your favorite white fish so that we can build that list and people can check out those comments and get even more ideas. Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.